Good day, Grade 9 learners! This is Teacher Romeo and welcome to another awesome episode of Ciencia! Because science is not just amazing, it is fun! For today, we will be talking about the human respiratory system. At the end of this learning episode, you are expected to identify and describe the function of each key part of the breathing system. Explain how lungs work. Describe how the movement of diaphragm helps the air go in and out of the lungs. If you are ready, make sure you have your pen and notebook with you to help you take down notes as we go along the lesson. Alright, listen carefully and let's begin! In your grade 8 science lesson, you have learned about the digestive system. Now, let's just try to recall some of the concepts that you have studied in that lesson. I will be showing you pictures of food and nutrients which you can get from various food sources. Give me a thumbs up if you think the food sources and the nutrients are correctly matched and a thumb down if they are not. Are you ready? Let's begin! The first pair of pictures are Eggs Protein Is that a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Correct! Number 2 Bread Carbohydrates Hmm, is that a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Number 3 Candies vitamins and minerals thumbs up or a thumbs down absolutely correct have you tried climbing up the stairs to get to your class located at the fourth floor or running from the gate of the school to catch up on your first period because you will be late if you don't run what happens to your breathing do you think you will be breathing heavily after running or walking until you reach the fourth floor? Of course, you will be breathing heavily or you will be gasping for your breath, right? Why don't we try to practice breathing? On my count, okay? Let's breathe in and out. Now, what you have to do is put your hands below your chest and take a deep breath. One, two, three. And then exhale. What changes in your chest cavity do you observe when you inhale? Now, what changes in your chest cavity do you observe when you exhale? The primary function of the respiratory system is to supply the blood with oxygen and to deliver oxygen-rich blood to all parts of the body. The first step that will supply the blood with oxygen is the process called breathing. How breathing process happens? Breathing is the process of drawing air into the lungs, which is called inhalation, and its corresponding expulsion, which is called exhalation. Inhalation and exhalation are the two phases of breathing. During inhalation, oxygen enters the lungs and during exhalation, carbon dioxide exits the lungs. To understand this, let's take a look at the system as a whole. I will give you some time answering the number parts. Number one, nose, nasal passages, trachea, bronchi, bronchioles, and the last one is the lungs. Let us have a short demonstration on how your respiratory system works by making a lung model. The materials that we need for this activity are 1 2 liter empty plastic bottle 1 sturdy straw 
three balloons, two big balloons, and one small balloon, five rubber bands, and a pair of scissors. part of our lung model represent? What does the rib cage represent? How about the PVC pipe or the sturdy straw? What about the balloons? And what about the larger balloons at the bottom? You are correct! The bottle represents the rib cage. The PVC pipe or the sturdy straw represents your trachea and the balloons represent the lungs and lastly the plastic sheet represents the diaphragm what happens to the balloons inside when we pull down the big balloons or the plastic sheet at the bottom when we pull down the plastic sheet the air pressure inside the bottle decreases whereas the volume of the bottle increases this reduced pressure causes the outside air to enter the balloons. What happens to the balloons inside when we push up the balloons or plastic sheet at the bottom? When the plastic sheet is pushed up, the volume of the bottle decreases and air pressure inside the bottle increases. This increased pressure forces air out of the balloons. To understand better how the respiratory system works together for gas exchange to take place, let us take a look at the different respiratory organs in detail. How does the air, particularly oxygen, enters the body? Nose is the gateway of the respiratory system. The air, particularly oxygen, enters the body via the nose. The nasal cavity is lined with tiny hairs called cilia. Cilia trap foreign particles from air and sweep them toward the throat so that they do not enter the lungs. Mucous membranes beneath the cilia in the nasal passages warm and moisten the air while trapping foreign materials. Upon entering from the nose, where will then the air pass through? Filtered air then passes through the upper throat called the pharynx. Pharynx or the throat is the narrow space located right after the mouth and the nose. The part of the pharynx that is related to respiration is called nasopharynx. The larynx or the voice box is the organ that connects the pharynx and the trachea. It contains the vocal cords that produce sound when vibrated by air. What do you think will happen if the food accidentally enters the trachea? Choking will occur. A flap of tissue called epiglottis, which covers the opening of the larynx, prevents the food particles from entering the respiratory tubes. The epiglottis allows the air to pass from the larynx to a long tube in the chest cavity called the trachea or the windpipe. Trachea or windpipe, a narrow and cylindrical tube about 5 inches long located right after the larynx. It is composed of rings of cartilage and it is lined with mucous membrane. It serves as passageway for air going in and out of the lungs. 
Where does the air passes through from the trachea? Bronchi are connected to the trachea. The left and the right bronchi are connected to the left and right lungs. They are further subdivided into several smaller branches called the bronchioles. Collectively, bronchi and bronchioles are called bronchial tree. Do you know what is the largest organ of the respiratory system? The lungs are the largest organs of the respiratory system and gas exchange takes place in the lungs. Each bronchus branches into even smaller tubes called bronchioles. Each of these small tubes continues to branch into even smaller passageways, each of which ends in an individual air sac called alveolus. The plural is alveoli. Each alveolus has a thin wall only one cell thick and is surrounded by very thin capillaries. Where does the exchange of gas happen? Air travels to individual alveoli where oxygen diffuses across the moist, thin walls into capillaries and then into the red blood cells. The oxygen is then transported by the blood to be released to tissue cells in the body during internal respiration. Meanwhile, carbon dioxide moves in the opposite direction in the alveoli. Carbon dioxide in the blood crosses capillary walls and then diffuses into the alveoli to be returned to the atmosphere during external respiration. Let us summarize what we have discussed today. Respiratory system. The respiratory system functions in the exchange of gases between the body cells and the environment. The respiratory system consists of the nose, pharynx, larynx, trachea, bronchi, the lungs that contain the bronchial tree and air sacs. The breathing process involves the alternate contraction and relaxation of the diaphragm, abdominal muscles, and intercostal muscles. Actual exchange of gases takes place between the alveoli of the air sacs and the blood. We are in our respective homes continuing learning due to the pandemic caused by the COVID-19. Do you know what happens to our lungs when we contracted the virus? The SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19, is part of the coronavirus family. The new coronavirus can infect the upper or lower part of your respiratory tract. It travels down your airways. The lining can become irritated and inflamed. In some cases, the infection can reach all the way down into your alveoli. As the infection travels your respiratory tract, your immune system fights back and your lungs and airways swell and become inflamed. This can start in one part of your lung and even spread. About 80% of people who have COVID-19 get mild to moderate symptoms. You may have cough or some sore throat also. Some who get the coronavirus get pneumonia in both lungs. Do you know what this illness is all about? You will know more about this in our upcoming episodes. So, stay home to be safe and follow minimum health protocol when you have to go out. What you have to do? Number one, wear a mask. Number two, observe one meter at least physical distancing. And number three, wash your hands and sanitize often. And that wraps up our episode for today. See you again next time. This is Teacher Romeo. And always remember, science is not just amazing, it is fun. See Yensaya! <laughs>